All right, we are back with level three. So let's go ahead and go over our heroes here. We have Thor and Firebraid. We've got him with two lion equipment, as long as the as well as the bed rolls, dungeon map, and the witch's brew. We've got Nilly Songheart with the Throne Axe of the Bear, Spiked Buckler, Cursed Dragon Scale, Warhorn of the Bear, and the Jade Figurine. We've got Lara Gambit stacked out with the Panther equipment, and Atorius with three of the Phoenix, and then a Cloud of Death and Violet Cape, as well as the Magic Elixir. So we're gonna come here. We're gonna have Thor and Firebraid go first, and we're gonna do our thing. Move that torch track down one, and flip all four rooms. And so we have two goblins and one minion. So our minion is the troll with four defense and seven health. And we have two goblins. Number one goblin is Boomy. Number two goblin is Mighty. Oh snap! So <laughs> I don't know if that was super good for Thor and Firebraid to open up the doors just like that. What we'll do, this is what I'm gonna do actually. I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna actually have him use this four to get rid of one goblin on here. So he's gonna spend four focus. Basically a shield bash, but one free to get rid of Boomy. So we could get one equipment, which is the Ward of the Scarab, which, eh, yeah, don't really need that for anyone right now. Maybe a Taurus, but we'll see. And since that's a free action, no, I guess I had to, nope, I'm going to take that back. I am not going to do this. Let me attack him. So I was thinking I could move out, but I couldn't move out. So I'm going to come down here and attack him. I have a plus one and a reroll, and all I need is a five. There you go. There's my five. I get those. So I kill him. That ends my turn. Move the torch rack down one. Now Nilly Songheart. Nilly Songheart is actually going to use this range because the range gives her three as well, actually. So she's not even going to move. She's got a plus three. And she's going to attack Mighty. Oh my goodness. That was close, but that five will do it. Five, six, seven, eight, which barely gets him. Which, plus the health doesn't do anything, but we do get another equipment. Do I want anything from the discard? I don't think I do. I will draw an equipment. Ooh, it is the Great Axe of the Bear. Hmm. Oh, I did have to spend two focus, but then I got the two focus back. I am going to take away the Spiked Buckler. I am going to actually switch out the Throwing Axe of the Bear. I'll show you why. So now my pluses, I've got plus two, plus three four and I have two of those four five because I have two bears so now I get a plus five to my melee attack with Nilly Songheart <laughs> that is awesome that jade of figurines not really doing me any good except for like chaps I guess but that'll be her turn so she takes out that one and Nilly Songheart is just gonna stay there I think too still so torch will go down Lara Gambit's turn She's just going to attack that ogre for where she's at, or the troll from where she's at. She does have a plus four to her attack because she's got three of those. Wait, no, she has a plus five. One, two, three, four. So that's three. Oh, no, that's to a melee. Sorry. This is ranged. Yeah, so three, four. So she's got a plus four to this attack. Plus four. And we have a defense of four. So basically just whatever I roll is what we get. Ooh, that is five. And I am going to spend four focus. So that goes down to two. To put this four into a two. So that's four, five, six, seven. Plus the four. That will one-shot the troll. So that troll is a goner. Nice. Dude, that was awesome. Because I beat that troll, the torch track does go back up to the top. And we will, now it's the end of Lara Gambit's turn. The torch track goes down. And a Taurus will go. All right, so a Taurus is going to come down here. He's going to move this torch, da torch track down one to flip over these three rooms. Oh, no. <laughs> so we got one minion, a trap, and a goblin. Nice. That's actually not too bad. So our minion is a vampire imp with four plus two to range and magic and eight. Now we'll go right there. We'll place that token on him there. And then our goblin is a boomy goblin, which will go right there. Now we will just do the cloud of death so I can, that way I could hurt, kill Boomy and hurt the other and hurt the vampire imp. So let's see here, Boomy. Yep. I'm going for cloud of death. So I need six. I got a plus two. Oh, dang. All right. But that will do four, five, six. So I spend four, one, two, three, four. And I do three damage to the vampire imp and I kill Boomy. So that means I get, ooh, should I get another? No, I, want, I need to get through equipment first here. So let's go ahead and get through equipment. Grease of the Lion. There we go. That's something I 
We'll probably give to Thord and Firebraid. Torch Track goes down one. And it is Thord and Firebraid's turn again. So I'm just going to have him come over here and attack the fire, the vampire imp. He's got three. He's got a plus one and a reroll. Oh, man. Let's reroll the... Dang, only one reroll. Roll the six. Because I can only use four. I can only move it down two. So neither one. So it really doesn't matter here. Oops. Just so we're aware here. Ah, well, that actually is okay. Is that worth it? So right now, if we just do six plus one, that's seven. That's three. That's one, two, three. Yep, that's worth it. I'll spend four focus here to go down to one. I'll turn this forward to a two. That is six plus the one is, oh, that's not six. That's eight plus one is nine minus four is five. And he has five health left, so he will kill him. And why I really wanted wanted Thor and Firebraid to do that, so he could grab the Grease of the Lion. He's going to get rid of the dungeon map because he has not even used that up to this point. That means he could heal two hearts every time he does a melee attack, which will be great. And he gets a second one. Ruby Figurine, finally for Nilly Songheart. This is the last card in the entire deck. And that's exactly what we wanted. We'll give that to Nilly Songheart on her turn. That Fire Imp is gone. We'll place this on the door there. We kill him, so this goes back up to the top. <laughs> and then we'll go down one. We have yet to even spawn a goblin. <laughs> All right, so it is Nilly Songheart's turn now. All right, so putting these out, this is the first one that could be the dungeon layer already. But we still need two more minions. That means these three or those two are the other two minions that we need to find here. So Nilly Songheart is going to go one, two, and three. Ah, it's a goblin and a dead end. So she'll take one damage for walking into that one and spawn a goblin, which is Shooty. And she will definitely attack him. She does have that plus five. <laughs> So basically it's an automatic kill and she'll, yeah, nothing will happen, but she'll kill him. And yeah, I mean, can't get any more loot. Is there any more loot that she would want? Oh yeah, she does. She is definitely going to get that Ruby figurine, obviously, and get rid of the Jade figurine. Cause she did have to spend two focus to get that third dice, but she definitely got those two back. All right. Awesome as a possum. So that take care of him. Torch track goes down one. Nothing happens. And Lara Gambit is up now. Where's Lara? Lara's right there. Maybe I'll have her come up and check those two rooms real quick. Yeah, that way I know what I need to do with a Taurus. So I'm going to have him or her. Either way, they got. she's got to go through a trap. So I'll come here. Roll for that seven. She does have a plus one to this roll. Ooh, there is that seven. And she'll actually gain. Ooh, she has a plus one. Oh, and I need a seven. Yeah, so I have to use that. So she does get one. Focus back. And then she is going to do it one. She's going to go two up to this top one here. Ooh, and it is a minion. So she will take two damage from walking into a minion. And that minion is the Minotaur. Ooh, ooh, which this is perfect. She He gets plus two to melee, but she is ranged. All right, four and only six health. I am okay with having him out actually right now because check this. So he goes right here. She does have the Cloak of the Panther. Oh, she does have the Cloak of the Panther, so she does not take that damage. And she will move back into here, which she does have to roll for that trap again. Which she does have a plus one, so that six will do it. She does get two focus back, one, two. And now she will do a plus four attack, range attack against the Minotaur. Plus four, so I just need a six in to automatically kill him. Oh, no way. Ugh, okay. So I will spend two focus, so she goes down to three. This one to a two, so that's five, six, plus the four. Four, six will kill him right out, so I'll one-shot the Minotaur. And two, ooh, maybe I will get two spells just to see for a Taurus to kind of see if we can't get a better one for him because there really is no other thing that we want for Lara Gambit. So the two spells that we grabbed are... Dungeon Scry, which definitely don't really need because this dungeon's really small. <laughs> and Holy Abundance. Four heroes, all heroes, plus three input. Ooh. And you get from the discard. So that one's actually not bad because uh, healing's going to be important with this, fighting two bosses. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see what we want to do with that one. And that means either those two or that one is the dungeon. We still need one more minion, which is one of these three. But that's the end of her turn.
Torch track goes down one, nothing happens. Now a Taurus will go. So a Taurus will come down here, and he does have to roll for that seven. He does get a plus two to his roll. Ooh, which he'll almost need. So that'll do that. He does get three back from that, because that six will do it, plus his three, plus his two, sorry. And then, yeah, I'm gonna move him and I'm gonna have him keep going down to this one, which is just another goblin. We don't have anything. We don't have anything else to put out there, but we will have him take one damage, and we will spawn a spelly goblin right there. He will roll for his life still here. Just needs a six. He's got a plus one, two. Yeah, just a plus two to his roll. Ooh, nice. Which he will gain. Let's see. You need that six. He will gain that focus back. He only needed a five. So he's going to use that four, so then he gets one heart and all that focus back. Then he has to use three focus, three, and he'll steal the life out of him. Oh, and it doesn't really matter. He can't heal anyone, but he does get all of his focus back from killing spot, spelling, and an equipment. Is there anything else that we wanted for him? I'm going to give him the dungeon map just to give him that plus one movement. That's really the only reason. I'm going to just put that off to the side there because I really don't care about it <laughs> but i'll give him plus one movement and that'll end his turn and a goblin will spawn that goblin is a mixy goblin Ooh, mixy almost killed this last time all right and it is thord and firebraid's turn let's see that one so might as well go here i'll go one two i have to roll for that seven he does not get any pluses here oh dang what what's the uh he's just gonna take the two damage one two then he's gonna move into here which is Ugh, it's not it. It is a bad guy, though. Or a goblin. A bad guy. There's a goblin here, which is going to be a pokey. So we'll go ahead and attack that pokey. I do need a seven to defeat him. I do have a plus one to my roll. Oh, jeez, Louise. I do need to... Oh, I don't have any focus. No way. That's five. Oh, I get one reroll. I get one reroll. <laughs> That's four, five, six. Oh no. I'm gonna use my witch's brew. So I get three hearts and five focus. So I'll use two of that focus to move this one to a two. So I will kill Pokey. Man, that was difficult to kill him. And I will get an equipment and open a room, which I actually don't know if I want to, but I will kill him. And I really don't need another equipment, do I? Might as well give him Elven Chain just to give him more movement and defense. That really doesn't help him much. He's just not a hard hitter. Kind of sad. All right. Move the torch track down one. Mixie does activate. And within two. So just Lara there will get hurt for just one. That's not bad at all. And now it is Nilly Songheart's turn. Nilly Songheart is here. She's going to go one, two, three. I'm going to attack Mixie for plus five. <laughs> And she doesn't need to spend two anymore because she finally got that ruby. And she will take that six to gain that heart back. And then kill Mixie with the other ones. She does not need anything from this pile. Yeah, definitely not. We do get a potion. Let's see if it kills us. It's plus three and five defense. We'll give that to Nilly. I don't know if that really helps. But that might help. But we all do get sent back to the entrance. Which... Actually, not bad, because these two will come back up here, and this one will come back right here. Actually, that's not bad at all, compared to the last game. <laughs> all right, we will move down one. Nothing happens. Now it is Lara Gambit's turn. Lara is going to come up here, roll for that seven. She has a plus one to this roll. Five, six, seven. She gains one focus back. We know one of these two are the and exit so we know we're gonna have to come through here so i'm just gonna disable that right now i think actually what i'm gonna do first is i'm gonna come in here because she doesn't take damage see if this is oh this is the minion all right so she comes into the here our last minion is the dire serpent which ooh, he's good against or he's weak against range so that's good and six health place this last token here and there's him however because she has the cloak of the panther she does not take damage and she can move out she does have to roll for that seven again, though. <laughs> she does have a plus one to this. Ooh, there's that six. So she will gain three back. And now she will do her range attack, which is a plus four. Ooh, there we go. 
So that's four, that's six, and that's ten. And that is all she needed because that's six. Oh, no, 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 no. She needs a seven. So she is going to use two. Focus turn this three into a two. So that is six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve minus five is seven. Only six health. Kill him. We do get to have two of anything. So I am going to do two more potion or spells to see if we can't get something good for a Taurus. <gasps> Ooh, fireball. There we go. That's going to do five damage because he's got Ring of the Phoenix. So that's probably going to happen. And the second one is Tempest of Arrows. Ooh. It's all heroes or all enemies within one does one damage and one character does two. So that means, ooh, this one actually might be better. I actually might pick up both of these if I can because this one target is going to get three and then two. So this is one target five and everyone next to it does cost five and the fireball costs six. Yeah, this one's much better. Yep, I'm definitely going to pick that one up for a Taurus. All right. So we did kill the dire serpent. So we are going to go that down one. Spawn a goblin, which is going to be a mixie again. A Taurus doesn't really mind that at all. Because what, what he's going to do, he's going to move one space over and just do a range attack because he gets a plus two to his range attack. Oh yeah, six. We'll definitely kill it. He's full of everything else. So he will get a equipment. Ooh, but no potion. Dang it. Oh, not no potion, no spell. I might have to figure something out to do. Oh, ooh, that's what I did. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to discard my spell tome, switch hands with that, do a research so I, for four. Then I research to get that Tempest of Arrows. This thing is great until you, you have to get so many. <laughs> and uh, then because I did a... No, I just did a, a normal attack. I do get one back there. And, and then I, we get a potion, which is, ooh, max heart. Which I'll get that to Lara. I don't know why, but I will. <laughs> and then all heroes take two damage, which actually at this point is not the worst thing, but I'm sure it will be here soon. <laughs> that, like that. That take care of him. All right, this goes down, and there's nothing to activate. And we come back to Thord and Firebraid's turn. So Thord and Firebraid's right here. He's actually going to rest here, so he could come up to full health. And then everyone else can just heal those two hearts they just took and go back up three focus. Nice. That means everyone's one back up to Lara, except for Lara. Awesome. So that's, uh, he's not a hard hitter, but he's our healer, man. That's super handy to have. Who knew the dwarf fighter would be our healer? <laughs> and Nilly Songheart is our hard hitter. <laughs> so let's do, yeah, because I'm really just looking. I don't need anything else. I'm happy with what I have. Roll for that seven. Ooh, we actually got that seven without changing anything. And I'll go here and then here. Come over to the right, which is the Sleepy Goblins. So I have to roll for that four now. Oh, that is agility. I have not been playing that right. Oh, snap. I've been running three for all of them. Definitely get that. So that was one, two, three. I do have a plus one movement, so I could go there. All right. It is now Nilly Songheart's turn. So she's here. Actually, she's going to stay back. So she's not going to do anything on her turn. Oh, going back to a Taurus's turn. He got the spell tone back from killing the Mixie. And then, uh, so we discarded it and then got it back from the Mixie. We'll go down. We'll spawn another Goblin. It's going to be a Stabby. And now Lara Gambit's turn. She's going to disarm that trap for six. Five, six, and she gets everything back, which doesn't matter. So that is disarmed. We can get another spell. Why not? Delver's Luck. Ooh, a plus three to any next roll. Okay, that's actually not bad. Dang. Because that could do for a tour, so he could do his ranged attack and have a three and a five. So that would be a plus five for his ranged attack rather than just a five. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Actually, yes. Get rid of that cloud of death. I'd be okay with that. And that was for doing that. Um. Yeah, then I'm going to go one, two. Go there. And... Uh, yeah, I think we're ready. I'm going to open up the door, right? Because we have all four of those on there. I just forgot to put that last one there. We do have all four, so let's go ahead and see what we have here. We have a the seer that needs two, and we have the lich, which also needs two. And each boss here gets three, actually. One of these, so I'm just going to, after one goes down, I'll redo it so I know there's three. And then, so I'll go back to here and here. So I went, yeah, four. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to do two to taunt the Lich. This guy's there. And this guy's here. So I'm going to taunt this guy out to here. So that will put one on him. And then I'm going to do my ranged attack here. Does have a plus four. But he does have a defense of seven. That's crazy. 
All right, all right, that is not bad at all. We're definitely used to one, two, change that three to a two. And then another two to turn this five, four into a five. So we almost got another perfect roll for this boss, man. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 to hit, minus seven, 13 minus seven is just six. So this goes down one, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and because we did that, we flip this over to act two and we'll go down one and nothing will happen. And now a Taurus will go. So a Taurus is just gonna take one step here and actually he's gonna ignore stab because he's only gonna do one damage and he's going to fire his mm, or should he do oh mm, he's gonna spend two to taunt him a second time uh, which will put his second one and then he is gonna roll for his temps of arrows actually and so he just needs a six he does have a plus two to this roll and because he's doing magic he actually gets to focus back he only needs a six, he got a six. And focus, but that doesn't matter. So he will spend five, all the way down to two, to do kill Stabby, which Stabby's not gonna do anything. Or wait, 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 actually no, he's going to attack this guy first. So with two, with he's gonna do that three and then two to the boss, obviously. This goes one, two, three, four, five. Five damage to him. And he's gonna retaliate plus two, four. Oh, which actually, he's got a plus one, so that actually doesn't do anything. Doesn't even get hurt. And then he'll kill Stappy, which doesn't do anything. Doesn't need equipment or healing at all. However, here comes the beaten. So we're gonna go down and they're gonna activate. Luckily, the goblins don't activate, but let's see what these two do. So the lich is gonna kill one and everyone within two is going to lose two focus which is everyone Ooh, that could hurt focus is so important during these boss battles oh man all right now what is he going to do he's going to move and everyone within one is going to lose two hearts and one focus so he's going to move one two so just these two just Lara Gamba is going to lose one heart and two focus or two hearts and one focus sorry <laughs> Sword and Fiber is gonna lose two hearts and one focus. All right, so that is that. It is now Sword and Firebraid's turn, which I wish he was a harder hitter, but he's not. I'm gonna have Sword and Firebraid to come and attack this guy. He's only got a plus one to this attack, but he does get to heal two because he's doing a melee attack. Ooh, five, he does get do that to make this into a six. So that is eight, nine to his seven, eight, nine, so two damage. Yep, not a whole lot. <laughs> and now a goblin will spawn, which is a stabby goblin there with all of us. And now it is nearly, s oh, wait, I forgot to do my damage. So he got four plus four, which is eight. He's got five, so three damage, so he's down to four health. All right, now it is nearly Songheart's turn. Nearly Songheart's already there. She's gonna womp on the Lich here with her plus five to her roll. Let's see what she could do here. Not bad at all. <laughs> so what is that? Five, six, seven. Plus five is 12. 12 minus seven is five. Yep. So it's definitely worth it. So I will do one, two, one, two, and turn both of these to a two. So that is five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15, wait, okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, that's just 14, 14. So minus seven, which is seven. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's down to five. So close, so dang close. But, ooh, not bad at all. Only got a two, plus his four against melee. He got minus one, but plus one. So that's four, so just two damage. Boop. Awesome, that's not too bad at all, actually. However, they are all gonna hurt again because they're all gonna activate. So Stabby is just gonna do one damage to everyone. So everyone is down to three, except for a Taurus is down to five. And then everyone gets two more minus focus, which everyone has zero focus now. That's nice. <laughs> and then he'll move one and everyone gets minus two hearts. That means everyone's down to one heart except for a Taurus. Holy cow. All right, this just got, this just got real. <laughs> so Lara Gambit, uh, she has no focus and she has a healing potion. Ooh, she does have a healing potion. She's definitely going to use that healing potion to go back up to max. 
man, she really needs focus. So she could have, I was hoping she could do this thing here so I could shoot all three of them, but that's not going to work. So the important thing right now is to get rid of that lich. If I could kill that lich, that's, oh, the lich did also heal one. Let's go ahead and shoot that lich. I don't even need to, oh, I do need to move actually. So let's see here. I'm Lara, yeah, Lara Gambit. Oh no, Lara Gambit doesn't need to move. Attacking the lich right there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, my rolls tonight, man. I don't even need to do anything. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 damage to this guy. Oh, that was barely, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> so that's seven, or 13 minus seven is six. He's got six health. And I destroy the Lich. And when I destroy the Lich, the Torch Rite goes up nine. So it'll go up one, two, three, four, five, because that's all it's taken. This guy will go bye-bye. So we have not even touched this guy yet, but getting rid of one boss is super essential. So I, I'm happy about how that turned out, actually. And at the end of that, we'll move down one. Oh, and now it's a Taurus's turn. Yes, that's actually perfect. Oh, no, but... Oh, yes, 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 yes. That actually is perfect, because he is going to use this to give him a max focus... And then he's going to roll for his Tempest Arrow so he can attack both of them again. Ooh, yep. He got his six. He didn't need anything else there. Actually, he's going to use that four because he's got a plus two. So he's going to use that four and use that to gain a heart back. And then with that, he's going to kill Stabby and actually gain the three hearts because obviously. And so he's gone. And then... I'm going to do the three and the two to the big guy that's right here. So that is five damage. One, two, three, four, five. Just like that. Oh, but he did have to use five for that. One, two, three, four, five. And actually, I am going to use my last two focus to taunt him to here. So we have that thing there. So we could do most damage now because they are going to activate. However... There are no guys here, but everyone does get hurt for two. One, two, one, two. And Nili Songheart and Thord and Firebraid are down. So we'll knock these two guys down. Thord and Firebraid's turn, which actually is not too bad because he's going to rest, which will give him three and then another two. One, two, and give him back up to full. It's also going to give Nili Songheart back up to two and Lara back up to two. And one, two, three. And a Taurus back up to six and one, two, three. Awesome. So actually that was the best thing that could have happened because now they're both back up. He's not gonna do anything, but he's not that hard of a hitter anyways. So I'm not sad about that actually. I'm just gonna end my turn with that actually. So then that goes down and we do spawn a goblin, which is a mixy goblin, which will go right here. It is nearly Songheart's turn now. She will do her big old smash of plus five onto the seer and that oh what in the world go one two make that three into a two. Oh my goodness and that's five six seven eight nine plus the five fourteen Ooh, i am gonna say he did this just to heal that three one two three i don't even know if he needs it but that's I'm gonna say i did it so what was that five six seven eight nine that is 14 minus 6, which is 8. So I'll just, oh no, I can't because, yeah. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. <laughs> All right. And then, Millie Songheart, she's going to actually move here. And, nope, now she's just going to stay. Now they're going to activate. So he hurts everyone for 1. 1, 1, 1, and 1. And then he's going to hurt us all for two. One, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. And uh, minus one focus, everyone. All right. And everyone is not doing so good, but we're still alive. Everyone's still alive, so we're good. That was nearly, so now we are on to Lara Gambit's turn. And I am going to actually come here because we, yep. And I'm going to spend my last two focus here to lure him here and here so then he gets that second totem there now we could kill him now we could just attack so I've got my plus four here 
six, whoops, six, seven, seven plus four is 11. So 11 minus six is five. So one, two, three, four, five. Only six health left. We got this. Torch track down, nothing happens. Oh, no way. And a Taurus can only do five. <laughs> Oh, no way, man. No way. Oh, man. Oh, he did get hurt. Two plus, what did he do? Arranged. Oh, she was supposed to move back here. Out. She could have because the cloak of the panther, so it's fine. But actually, I don't even know if I could do. I might not even have, get enough focus for that. Well, yeah, yeah, because I'll get two, one, two. All right. So I'm going to go for Tempest of Arrows. Go there. Go Tempest of Arrows. Yeah, I get six focus. Oh my gosh, that's six, two, two, two. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to spend five to do Tempest of Arrows. So I kill Mixie. We do get a potion, which might kill us all anyways. Yes, it will. Bottle of Energy. Ooh, I actually might use that right now, but they are going to activate, which he's going to do two and one, two and one. Uh-oh. Nilly and Thord and Firebraid are down because of that activation. However, I'm going to use this. Oh, and he did use five. So he went from six down to one. I'm going to use the Bottle of Energy so I can shoot him with my arrow, with my ranged attack of my staff there. I do have a plus one, so I just need to get a seven here. Oh, no. Five. Oh, yes. <laughs> Six, seven. I got exactly seven, which will kill him. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, folks. There you have all three levels. That was crazy. I can't believe I got through that. Um, thank you so much for joining. We'll see you later.